So we've all broken a rule or two in our life. Some are small and insignificant, while others could get you in a lot of trouble. Whether you are on land or at sea, there are things that you can do that are simply frowned upon, while others could get you a one-way ticket to the brig. As someone that's worked on board cruise ships and sails often as a passenger, I've done a lot of things that have gotten me in trouble on board cruise ships, or at least it should have. And for a lot of you new sailors out there that have never cruised before, there are a lot of things that you can do that will unfortunately cause your cruise to not be so smooth sailing. That's why for today's video, I'm going to tell you seven ways that you can get in trouble on board cruise ships. For number one, we have throwing things overboard. Now this is something that may seem self-explanatory to some of you out there, common sense. However, unfortunately, it's something that I see literally all the time when I'm cruising. From somebody throwing something as harmless as a piece of bread for the birds or fish to eat, to somebody throwing out cigarette butts, it's just something that you shouldn't do ever, because if you're caught, you're gonna get in a lot of trouble. As someone that is a former smoker, I can tell you I don't know how many times I've thrown out a cigarette that I thought was completely ashed out and put out and it was still partially lit. You do this on a cruise ship, you could potentially start a fire and trust me it has happened in history's past. It's also just simply not good for the environment. What about the whales, the dolphins, the jellyfish? Well, actually, I don't think anybody likes jellyfish so they can go, it doesn't matter. No, I'm joking by the way. There have been idiots that have thrown all kinds of things overboard. For example, back in 2010, there was a man sailing on board the Holland America Rhine Dam. He had been doing a little bit of drinking and he didn't throw it overboard, but he decided to release an anchor. Now, thankfully, nobody was hurt. However, the man did get in a lot of trouble for it. In fact, he spent months in federal prison. He had to pay a fine and, well, he was banned from cruising for the rest of his life. There was also an incident a few years back with a group of rowdy teenagers that decided to throw a deck chair overboard. Now, thankfully, no sea turtles or fish were harmed during this process. However, the parents got a stern talking to and the kids were on curfew for the rest of the cruise. Number two, fighting with the guest or crew. Obviously, this is something that can get you in a lot of trouble. For some reason, especially in 2022, we've seen a lot of scraps fights, duels, squabbles. However, the reasons that these things happen may vary anything from the liquid courage to a husband and wife coming on board the ship, the wife deciding that she wants to do some bed wrestling with somebody else that is not her husband. They find out and the next thing you know, we're in a 60 person brawl. And believe it or not, there are people that have tried to go toe to toe with the crew for some reason. A guest versus crew is obviously something that is extremely frowned upon and should never happen. And I also have to say, if you try to fight a crew member, have you seen some of these ships these days? Some of them have punching bags, which means there's a lot of crew members that's, they're doing the preparations. They're prepared to go toe to toe and you're probably going to lose in a fight and get embarrassed in front of everybody. Also, you're going to get banned from the cruise ship if you fight and you could be put in the brig and then after that you go to jail. So just simply don't do it. Number three, failing to do the mustard drill. Now the mustard drill is something that none of us enjoy. However, it's acquired by maritime law and I got to say gone are the days, thankfully, where we are all packed in one giant room like a can of sorrow sardines and listening to one person talk and show us how to put on a life vest even though most of us weren't paying attention we have now gone digital making the whole safety mustard drill a lot easier and convenient for everybody that's going to sail on a cruise ship now unfortunately there are still people out there even with this digital revolution making things faster and more efficient people still tend to try and dodge the mustard drill don't do it because you're going to get in trouble by that i mean you could potentially be kicked off the ship before you've had your first drink or worse comes to worse you're going to be called by name first and last over the intercom and everybody's going to be mad at you because you've delayed their vacation. Number four, risky selfie. Now, trust me, I get it. Everybody loves a good selfie and there's always been a debate if a man should take a selfie. I've done it and I'm sure all of you, if you are men out there watching, you've probably done it too. But you got to ask yourself, is it really worth your life? Believe it or not, people have literally died trying to take a selfie. In fact, between the years of 2011 and 2017, 259 people died due to selfie-related incidences. And when it came to the cruise ship, a couple years back on Royal Caribbean's Allure of the Seas, there was a woman that decided to risk it for the biscuit. She wanted to take the ultimate selfie. Now, thankfully, she didn't fall, she didn't die. She was reported, and then the authorities came, and they booted her off the ship, and she was banned for life. However, just imagine if she had fell into the water. I'll tell you right now, if you guys have ever been on a cruise ship and you looked over the railing and seen that water, 
it's gonna be difficult to find you should you fall in. It's literally like finding a needle in a haystack. Number five, bringing drugs on board. Now this is self-explanatory and full transparency. I've done my share of party favors back in my day. However, I've never tried to bring it on board a cruise ship. Why? Because, well, first of all, yes, it's illegal. And if you go to certain ports, for example, like Bermuda or Jamaica, they got the dogs out there. And, and trust me, that's just not a situation that you want to get into while on vacation. Now I do understand you've got your drink in your Hawaiian tropical tourist shirt and you're having a great time and you're saying, hey, why not? Let's just roll up a doobie and have a good time. Well, like I said, it is illegal and if you get caught, there is a lot of trouble that you can get into. You could face fines, jail time. You could even face charges like drug trafficking if you are going from one foreign port back over to the United States. I've seen it happen and trust me when I tell you, it is never a pretty situation. Number six, missing the ship. Now this is something that may seem harmless and let's be honest, if you don't miss the ship, we all love a good peer runner. You're gonna get laughed at, you're gonna get mocked for the rest of the crew should people find out exactly who you are and where your cabin is. But if you get left by the ship, well, you're gonna run into quite a bit of trouble. Let's say in a perfect world, you have all your documentations and everything is good to go. You're gonna be met up by an agent at that port. They're gonna transport you over to the embassy. And from there, you're gonna have to pay your way either back home or to the next port of call that the ship that you're sailing on is going to be at. But what if you don't have the proper documentations like let's say a passport? Then you got bigger problems. You're gonna be stuck in that foreign island or port of call, wherever it is that you are for the rest of your life. No, I'm joking. It's going to be a difficult process for you, but eventually you'll get home. But it's just going to cost you a little bit more of money. Now we got one more left, but before we get to it, if you guys wouldn't mind, since you have endured my annoying voice for this long, it does give some type of indication that you're enjoying the content. So I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. Let me know how you feel about this type of video in the comment section. Share this video and subscribe to the channel as well. That way you can get more access to content just like this. Also, if you want to see other people, because it won't be you, breaking all the rules and you want to get on a cruise, make sure you check out our travel agent sponsored touring plans. They will give you the vacation of a lifetime and make sure everything is completely effortless during your booking process. For our seventh and final way to get in trouble on board a cruise ship, it's having sex too loudly. That's right, we're going there. Now, trust me, just like all of you out there, I love a good bed wrestle every now and then, or maybe for some of you it's every day or every hour. Maybe you're an addict, I don't know, it can be addicting, we all know this. However, just because you are with the sea air and you have the motion of the ocean, it does not give you the right to scream and holler like a sea lion for everybody on the ship to hear. Now, I know it feels feels good and some of you out there get a little adventurous when you're out on the cruise trying it on the balcony and then the hammock which is really difficult by the way and then going to the karaoke studio I'm not here to judge you guys do what you do all I'm saying is you got to keep it down just a little bit Anyway, have you gotten in trouble for any of this stuff while sailing on board a cruise ship during your vacation? Or maybe you've gotten in trouble for something else? Let me know in the comment section below. I have more videos like this as well as news, vlogs, pretty much everything under the sun when it comes to cruise ships on the way. So make sure you guys stay tuned. I love all of you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you next time. Take it easy.